Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing video. In this video I'm going to be working on a drawing of a hedgehog. I thought this would be a nice drawing to work on. Hedgehogs are really lovely animals and they always look like they have a big smile on their face. Um, in terms of the materials I'm using for this drawing, I'm using a mechanical pencil with HB LEDs on smooth Bristol board paper. Along with that, to help with the sh smoothing of the shading, I'm going to be using some blending sticks. And to help add some of the fur, I'm going to be using a small eraser. But please don't worry too much about the equipment you're using. As long as you have any pencil and any paper in front of you, you'll be able to create something like this. So as you can see, I started off by sketching the top of the hedgehog's nose, adding the curve along the bridge of the nose and then curving it upwards for the hedgehog's forehead. I also marked off an area for the hedgehog's nose itself and then uh, for the hedgehog's mouth, it runs kind of parallel to the bridge of the nose and in line with the top of the forehead, that's where the mouth curves upwards to show the hedgehog's big smile. Starting almost at the corner of the mouth and uh, kind of in line with the nose, that's where I added the eye. Also adding some faint outlines of the eyelids and adding some outlines of the highlights on the eye. With this being an angled view of the hedgehog, I didn't want the ears to be in exact alignment, so the ear in the background is further forward than the ear in the foreground. Uh, and once those have been sketched, it was then time to sketch the rest of the hedgehog's body. Adding some rough outlines along the hedgehog's back, it's really important not to worry about the details at this stage, um, because I'll be adding the spines over the top of these outlines later on. Also adding some rough sketching along the hedgehog's belly and adding some little outlines of its front feet. Uh, not worrying too much about the details of those either because I'll be adding some grass later on that may be overlapping some of those areas. After that it was time to start working on the shading and I wanted to start by shading the face as this was going to be the place I was going to focus the most detail and I was going to spend the most time on. So I started by adding shading to the nose, adding some very dark shading towards the bottom part of the nose um, and adding some dark shading between the two nostrils. Um, also adding dark shading within the nostril that you can see. Smoothing some of that shading with a blending stick and making sure to leave some highlighted areas around the outside of the nostril. For the shading of the skin around this area, I started by adding some basic shading with the pencil and then used the blending sticks over the top of that making sure to leave extra shading uh, around the underside uh, of the nose and around the mouth. I also used a small eraser to add some highlighting around the outer edges of this area to kind of show that environmental lighting. I also used the small eraser to add some whiskers and some fur around the hedgehog's mouth. Um, I found that using the eraser was a much simpler and a much easier way to uh, add quick fur effects like this over the top of previously laid down shading. Um, it's a really nice method and it, it saves a lot of time. For the shading of the eye, and this is one of the main prominent features of the drawing so I really wanted to make sure it stood out, I added lots of dark shading towards the centre of the eye, making sure to leave a ring of highlighting going along the top edge, and also leaving that big highlight towards the top right. I also made sure to leave some dark outlining around the eyelids, and left some highlights in the corner of the eye. Then it was time to start adding the rest of the fur around the hedgehog's face. My method for drawing fur is to add some quick fine strokes with the pencil first, then use the blending stick over the top of that to kind of smooth some of them out and blend some of them out towards the centre of the area. And then use my small eraser over the top of that to add some more fur. Um, and just keep the process going, maybe going through that process a few times, adding the quick fine strokes of the pencil, then using the blending stick and then using the eraser and just kind of building up the layers like that. And when you're working on a drawing with fur or hair, um, if you're looking at a reference image, please don't worry too much about copying anything exactly. Um, hair is always moving and changing, so it's best just to use quick fine strokes with a relaxed hand, uh, not thinking too much about the, pla the placement of the hair, because otherwise it would, it would end up looking a lot more awkward. So just be really relaxed with the process, just um, using the quick fine strokes and it will look much more natural. I also added some basic shading to the ears, adding some very faded and blurred shading to the ear in the background, just to make sure it stays in the background. Adding some darker shading to the ear in the foreground, uh, and using the blending stick over the top of that to keep it nice and smooth. Then to add the fur that overlaps the ear, I used the small eraser. Just using quick fine strokes of the eraser, um, it, it just make, it's a nice and simple way to show the fur overlapping in areas that already have placed down shading. Um, I really like using the eraser like this, it, it just makes the process much easier. 
And afterwards you can actually go over it again with the pencil and a blending stick to add some more detailing. Once that was done, it was time to work on the spines of the hedgehog. So I started off by sketching some very rough um, outlines of some of the spines, uh, using just quick fine strokes and not worrying too much about any exact placements of them. Uh, when it came to shading, I just added kind of shading to the underside of some of the individual spines to kind of show that layered effect. Um, in terms of the shading of the spines themselves, when you look at reference images, the spines are kind of patchy with black and white texturing. So I just followed that example and just added shading where I felt appropriate. I'll zoom in on this process so you can see um, just some of the shading on some of the individual spines. Um, this, this part of the drawing did take quite a long time, but I didn't focus this amount of detail to the entire area of spines. I just I stuck to adding detail to the front of the hedgehog and then kind of faded it towards the back. So as to not let the details at the back of the hedgehog take away from the details I've added to its face. I was also using the small eraser to add some highlights where I needed them uh, and to add that patchy effect to some of the spines. Um, and it was just about adding shading underneath some of the spines individually um, that kind of eventually brought out the effect that they were kind of all layered. Also making sure to add some shading underneath the ear to show that that's in front of them. I continued the same process of quickly sketching the rough outlines of all of the spines in one area and then adding the shading afterwards um, and just simplified the process as I worked my way towards the back of the hedgehog. When I was happy with how that was looking it was then time to work on the rest of the hedgehog's body uh, starting off by adding some of the fur that's in the background around the front of the hedgehog. Uh, keeping it nice and blurred to show that it's in the background um, I, I made sure that this fur was darker so that it would contrast the highlights that I added to the hedgehog's belly. Um, for the hedgehog's belly I just continued the same fur process of adding the quick fine strokes, using the blending stick and using the small eraser to build up the layers um, and then using the small eraser again to add highlights along the outside of the hedgehog's belly and in effect that contrasted the dark shading that I added in the background and it really showed up an outline of the hedgehog. I added some very basic fur and shading to the legs and feet that are showing and also used the small eraser again to add some highlights along the front edges of them. After that I then added some grass surrounding the hedgehog and overlapping it in some areas, uh, also adding some very dark shading to the under underneath of the hedgehog um, that in effect really helped to show up the highlighted areas by having that contrast between them. I also added some light shading going all the way around the hedgehog in the background. Uh, this was another great way for me to use the small eraser to add some extra fur to highlight around the outer edges of the hedgehog and to add some spines around its body as well. I continued to add the details to the grass and added some extra shading underneath the hedgehog and after that the drawing was completed. Overall it took about two hours to complete and it was really fun to work on a drawing like this. I think hedgehogs are really lovely animals and I just I love their smile. They, they always seem to be smiling in every photo I've seen and I thought this would be a really nice tutorial to work on. Uh, I really hope it helps out and if you do work on anything similar to this or if you followed this video along then feel free to show me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, it would be really awesome to see. If you enjoy drawing videos and you want to see more videos like this then make sure you're subscribed and any likes or shares are hugely appreciated, it genuinely helps the channel out and it does mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and keep up to date with everything I'm working on then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again thank you so much for supporting this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helps out in some way and I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you all soon.